by this bill. So on this demo, I'll be showing you how to create ServiceNow modules. So in the previous one, we showed you how to create table. And before I saved it on the upper right, you must have saw that allows you to create a new module, right? So you could basically not create the module from a table, right? Depending on your purpose, right? So you could just be creating um, data structure or data architecture, right? You're creating tables to be able to house data and, and so on, right? So, well, in this topic, it's all about modules, right? So I'll show you um, basically what I'm talking about. So let us um, redo that. So once you go to tables, right? Once you create new, I mean, click new on the upper right, it will ask you to create a module, right? So once you create a table, it will automatically create a module once it is ticked, right? On the upper right. And once it's ticked, right? So when the previous demo, I talk about theaters, right? So you can see it has automatically created theaters module because of that. So from here, you could um, basically click the edit application, right? And and from there, you could um, add more modules. So you could see here, we have one module. So you could basically rename this one. This could be create more, create theaters, right? And then do a check on that one. Then you could create another one, create new, right? And depending on the purpose of your module, right? It could be editing a theater, right? Or you're viewing a list on the theater, right? So as, as this um, um, new form loads, it will ask me for some information, right? To be able to create a new module. It seems it has not been loading. So let us do it again, do a refresh, right? And there you go. So it has loaded. Right now it's asking for a name of the module. So let's, um, oh, so I've overdone it, right? So, so we need to click the new again, right? So after clicking new, it should take you to that form again that will allow you to create a module. Now it's loaded, so you could um, add the name. Um, let's say um, edit, edit theaters. Right, and you can see it's under the application menu of chatters because it's inheriting that, right? So uh, as you scroll down, it will ask for, is it, what are you looking to do, right? So um, are you looking to have a list of records, a map page? So ServiceNow is doing so well already on what is the purpose of your module, right? And you have to put the name of the table, right? So since we started with, um, um, a prefix of view since it's a custom table, right? So there you go. So now it will come out, right? And and now you'll be able to save it. So depending, you could add your filters. So let's save this one. And as we save this, right? It sh you should have multiple modules already under Tietz's module, right? So you can see that you could filter out depending on the rules as well, who can see, who cannot see. Right, so um, let's move back to Chetus, right? So let's do a, a ref, there you go. So I'll refresh, so I don't need to do a refresh. So um, if you do that, so modules is basically already there. So you become being a better developer now. So before um, we move on to the next topic, I'll show you that, for example, in the incident uh, module, right? So you have that and you could see right, the different um, out-of-the-box modules. And from there, you could use that as a as a template, right, on the settings of how a module is created, right? So uh, depending on the purpose, right? So for example, um, this has given you a template and you can use that, right, um, this templates of service now in building your own tables and modules. I hope I managed to help you. I'll see you on the next video.